All right, so Devin Wally just sent me a message, and he has his first Watchfire digital billboard on order. Solid choice, by the way. And he's asking if I upcharge or charge any extra for graphic design. And uh, if you have a digital billboard, do you have a limit on the number of times that uh, you allow a customer to change an ad within that term? So I try to sell billboard ads the same way that I would want to buy them if I was a customer or how I'd want to buy anything. And that is, I just like knowing what is the total cost up front. Um, you know, if you ever go buy a car, they ha might have $20,000 on the windshield or on the sticker, but then by the time you get done with the transaction fee and the processing fee, the tags, the tax, the title, all the different stuff, you know, it's twenty four, twenty five thousand. dollars 25000 So um, I'd much rather just know, I'd much rather just know what the total price is up front. Um, so I just factor all that other stuff into it and give them a flat rate. And yeah, I mean, sometimes you, some customers are going to be more high maintenance where you might do a little bit more graphic design for them. Others, they might send you the design. You don't have to do anything for them. So I just, I think in the end, it, it all comes out in the wash. But, you know, I guess if you're really small and you just have one uh, billboard and you're paying, you know, graphic designer 50 bucks for to do a design, then I could see how you need to be a little bit careful because if you do get a really high maintenance client that wants to do uh, five or six ad designs in a in a month period, and you're only charging maybe 600 bucks for the ad, well, that, that might eat up half of your your gross revenue right there if you're paying for $50 every time you change the ad. You know, once you get a little bit larger and you're able to have a graphic designer on salary, um, it you know you've already got that cost factored in for the year so whether it's uh you know more or less graphic design however it comes out to be um you know he's already there he's already working so it only takes a few minutes to um to make a change or do a new ad or, so it's not that big a deal but um that's what i do and it's been working um i try to that's one of the biggest advantages of digital billboards is the uh you know, you, you can change your ad anytime. So I try not to limit that, but uh, I try to use it as a selling point, uh, especially if you have a digital billboard that, you know, you can change your ad anytime. And no, we don't restrict how many times you can change it on top of that. Um, thankfully, it never has really bit me in the butt as far as I'd never have had such a high maintenance client that they wanted to change your ad every single day for a long period of time. Um, Usually it may sound like a good idea, especially to someone that is just getting started with digital billboards and they haven't had much experience, but it's actually a lot of work for the customer themselves. I mean, they have to send you what they want on the ad every every often or every so often that they want to change it. So, you know, after three or four times, they, they kind of run a little on new information. <laughs> so uh, if anything, we'll just say, hey, why don't we just cycle these three or four ads evenly within the spot so uh, a lot of times we'll end up doing that. But uh, that's just what I've been doing, and it's been working good for me.